Hey, what's up, guys? You've been hunted here, and it's a nice, beautiful day here on Daisy, uh, Trenaris, the you know the usual Daisy, the official service and all that. But this is a live commentary, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get geared in Daisy, and this is just a great way to do this. And you know, you definitely want to uh, know how to get geared because it's one of the most important things in the game. Obviously, to stay surviving, to stay alive is a better way to say that. Obviously, not to stay surviving. That's not even proper grammar by any means, but whatever. So I just did this video and it was a little too long, so I'm going to try and cut out the chit chat and just get right to it. So basically what this whole ent whole entire idea is, is just using others' misfortune to your advantage. And I'm just going to quickly apologize for using the bandit skin, I'm sure some of you are probably mad about that, but it's fun killing people, those who are misfortunate and less stronger than you, survival of the fittest, you know, that's what it's about. So sorry about that, anyway. So like I was saying. The main idea is to just quickly gear up using crappy gear and then steal from those who are better than you at the game. And what I mean by this is, if I can open up the map here, and I don't know why this map is in green, I'm sorry. But over here is Electro, and I'm sure most of you know what Electro is. If you don't, it's one of the biggest cities in Trenaris, which is the main Daisy world uh, world map type thing. Uh, it's probably the most, most well-known city. So anyway, some of your spawns that are near Electro is Cape Galova. Um, you know, Cherno is somewhat close. That's another, that's another big city. Uh, Electro is actually, you know, the spawn is like right here, which is also just a really good spawn. And then you have Otmel, which is over here. So in Otmel, I mean in Electro, you have a few things. You have, a, you have two fire stations, a store, a schoolhouse, and a hospital. And I'm sorry if it ever periodically lags. I turned the turn the graphics down to medium. For some reason, uh, my, even though my computer is extremely fast, it has problems recording and playing Daisy at the same time, but it doesn't seem like it does right now. So, what, what you want to do is, like I said, um, obviously you want to be spawning somewhere near Electro, whether you have to kill yourself or run there or whatever it may be, but the main idea is to just get you know the minimal gear that you need to kill someone. So, in Cherno, you have a few places that you can... I just got a really bad lag spike. But in Cherno, you have a few places that you can find some nice gear. So, I'm going to get out a crosshair here so that you guys can see. Uh, one would be the fire station on the far side of town. This is like the power plant fire station. And then you have a fire station over there. I'm sorry about the fog. When I changed it to medium, it brought out all this fog. And I can't get rid of it. I don't know how. So, sorry about that. But uh, over here is another fire station. Uh, right down the street from there, I wish I had higher ground, but I don't, is a store, which is right behind this house where I'm aiming. You can find a backpack and things like that. In the fire stations, you can find like AK-47s and things along those lines, assault rifles, um, low-grade assault rifles, or maybe shotguns. And then you have a store, which is right behind this house. I really wish I had just gotten higher ground before I thought about doing this video. I'm sorry, but there's a schoolhouse right across the street from the school, I mean, from the store, and then right across the street from the schoolhouse is a hospital where you can find your blood bags and things like that. So, once you have once you have the gear, you know, once you have, like, at least, uh, I would say, an AK or a shotgun or something that can kill someone relatively quickly, and, you know, maybe some form of a, a pistol or something like that you want to run up here and this is called sniper hill and I believe it's sniper hill 2 because over there I believe is sniper hill 1 even though no one really uses it you'd think this would be called sniper hill 1 maybe it is I don't know but just really quickly before we run up to the top of this so I just want to show you the type of gear you can get from doing this I had absolutely well, okay I'm gonna say absolutely almost no gear even though that doesn't really make sense if you really think about it but I'm sure you get the point I now have an M4 with six mags, three frag grenades, a pistol with, you know, four rounds, all these tools, night vision goggles, binoculars, the best backpack in the game, and a DMR with blood bags, DMR mags, and things like that in my backpack. This is all from doing this strategy, and this is from doing it one time. So, while you're doing all this gathering of your gear, you want to be in a low populated world, and I mean like less than five people or so. And the reason for that is you don't want to die, obviously. So once you do that, you come over here to the hill, and this is on this side of the map. You can tell the elevation by the lines. Uh, the, you know, the more lines that are closer together, the steeper the elevation gets. So right here, it's steeper than right here, and you know, so on and so on. But this right here is orange tree. Uh, at least that's what me and my friends call it. And then we're right in this area right here. So electro, it goes around the curve. Basically, when you get to this curve, you want to go up the hill. That's where we are right now. 
So you're going to want to go up to the top of this hill, and there's no need for me to uh, for you to watch me do this. It'll just make the video longer, so I'll see you at the top of the hill. Okay, guys, so we're at the top of the hill. Electro is down here over this edge of the hill. Uh, right down there, you can see the roof of the power plant, the giant stack. So what you want to do while you're still in your lowly, low like populated world, you want to get behind one of these trees here at the top of the hill, and you definitely want to lay prone. The reason for this, I'm sorry about the shadow from the sun, it's just you know physics of the real game. But you want to lay prone and you want to hug a tree. Because what you're going to do is you're going to sign out and you're going to go into a highly populated world. Preferably something with like 25 or more players. So once you sign in, your person's going to be standing up for a little bit because that's just how the game works. When it says setting up game, your person is standing like this. But when you actually spawn in, you'll be laying down. So you don't want to be vulnerable standing out in the middle of nowhere, standing up while you can't even see your person. You can easily get killed. So once you log in, you basically, you know, the basic idea is to just... Uh, crouch, you know, preferably if you found a ghillie suit, that would be perfect. Uh, but you just want to scan the tree line, and you want to be stealthy, and you want to be hugging trees. Don't forget that you can use Q and E to lean around if you really need to. You want to zoom in and see someone without them seeing you still. Uh, you can also use Alt and stuff like that to look around. Just hold Alt, and it'll lock your view without actually turning your person. But what you want to do is, after you, you know, you did a quick view, make sure there's no one to the right or to the left you're going to get flanked by because there are sometimes groups of friends who do this um, and snipe from here you want to just make your way down the hill and there's a few points a few places of you know I'm sorry right now I just noticed that it's lagging um, hopefully it'll stop lagging here I'm just gonna keep going down the hill because it's not very important but you just want to make your way down to these trees and things like this and there we go the lags go on okay so there's a few places once you get down to this about row of trees about this far down the hill we're about halfway down you want to check a few places Number one would be right down here to the right. Along these trees, sometimes you'll have snipers crouched along them, looking out into, uh, into Electro. You want to watch these trees to your left, because sometimes people will be laying prone. And you also, well, the most highly likely area of finding someone is underneath these two pine trees, and sometimes this little pine tree down here. So the main idea is to use your crappy weapon that you got in about 10 minutes from you know scavenging through Electro on a low populated world, and then you take that crappy weapon into a highly populated area, and you come and kill any sniper that you possibly can. Now the strategy to this is to obviously try and be stealthy, so if you need to hold shift and walk to be a little quieter, that's good. If you need to crawl, then do so. But you want to make sure that you can kill the person because they're obviously going to be more geared than you. If you find someone laying down here like this, their chance, chances are they're going to have like a, an AS-50 or a DMR or some high-powered gun and probably a high-powered gun in their backpack. So you don't want to get into a gunfight with them. You want to basically just come up behind them and kill them quickly before they even know what's going on. So the main idea after uh, of all this, if you haven't realized yet, is like I said, you know, you spawn somewhere near Electro, you go through Electro and get a crappy gun in about 10 minutes, you come to the top of this hill, log out, go into a highly populated world, make your way down the hill carefully, and kill someone who has, you know, taken the time or possibly done the same thing that you're doing right now to get their gear. You have to do this quickly, though, and the reason for the, I say that is because when you're in a highly populated, populated world, sometimes there will, like I said, there will either be like groups of people, like friends, or there will be people that don't even know that both of them are here. You could have a sniper laying here, and you could have a sniper laying down along this ridge on the other side of this road who doesn't even know where you are. So if you're shooting this person, chances are you won't find a silenced weapon in Electro right away. Your gunshot is going to be loud, so if there's a sniper down there, they're going to turn around and they're probably just going to pop you right in the face if you sit here too long. So your best bet, if you're going to stay in that world, or not even stay in that world, is just quickly have your gear set up where there's open room and either in a backpack or in your inventory where you can just uh, put another gun. Um, obviously you can't put another gun in your inventory, it has to be in your bag or you have to have an open spot, so either drop your crappy gun and pick up theirs or something along those lines. But you want to do it quickly. If you're going to stay in the same world, you want to try and make your way to the top of the hill again and make sure there's no other traffic coming. You also want to be careful if you stay in the same world that the people don't come back and try and kill you and get their stuff back. So hide the body, go to the top of the hill, wait a few minutes, make sure no one comes back, and then you're pretty much good to go. I would recommend if you, get, if you kill someone and get their gear, just sign out and go to another populated world if you want to try and kill other people. It's a ton of fun sniping people. It's, it's challenging, so it's fun when it's rewarding and stuff like that. But uh, if, you, if you're one of those people who just likes to have stuff and play it safe, you go into a low populated world and do what you've always done with better guns and things like that. So hopefully this video helps you out, guys. I'm sorry for the little bits of lag that happened throughout. 
If you like the video, please leave it a like. It really helps me out. Comment, sub if you haven't yet, and maybe share the video to Twitter and Facebook to let people know. It always helps me out. Whatever you're willing to do, I really appreciate it, and thanks for watching.